a nice hot cup of coffee. Still chilly out there, a little chill in the air. That's right, and just kind of dry. I mean, I'm just, my hands are even starting to get that. I know, you need like, lots of lotion. Wintery, like, early winter mm -hmm. dryness is going on. You know, a lot of that has to do uh, with that humidity and that dew point being on the lower end. So we're not only feeling the colder weather, but we're also feeling a little raw out there. Yesterday's minimum temperatures. All right, here we go. Let's talk about some of these because it was cold. 28 over to Nawada, 31 to Bixby. Notice all of these are below freezing. I know at 29, Bristow at 27. Thankfully, this morning, we're a little bit warmer. In fact, some areas out towards the west, you're tracking 10 to even 15 degrees warmer. So noticeable difference this morning. Still worthy of a jacket or coat. I'll let you make that decision, but temperatures staying in those 50s and 40s. The further out to the east, you can see that drop 37 to Tahlequah, Poto 36 over towards Grove. Let's go and pull to a live look right now as we're waiting on that sun to come up at 734. It's currently 52 here in the Tulsa Metro. Look at that dew point 33 right now. Southeasterly winds about eight miles per hour. Despite all of that sun yesterday and those breezy south winds, we struggled to get a high in those upper 60s here for Tulsa. So definitely where they have that coat uh, or jacket, you'll need it again for today. will be a little bit warmer, seasonal and sunny by this afternoon. Notice those winds will start to pick up by about mid to late morning out of the southeast, and that's going to create some concerns for additional fire spread in the area. So any outdoor burning for today is strongly discouraged. Normal for this time of the year is 73. We'll take it mid 70s in the area, so much closer to that seasonal average. Look at 76 to Bartlesville, 75 right here for Tulsa as well as prior. For tonight, fairly quiet. Those winds will slowly relax. We'll keep those temperatures in those 60s. And then those overnight lows remaining a little bit warmer, just a touch warmer as we do see some cloud coverage rolling into the area, especially out to the west. Notice some showers wanting to light up as we do head into tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, folks, this is not going to impact us. It will remain north and continue to track across Kansas. That cloud coverage will also be breaking apart. So I do anticipate more sun for tomorrow afternoon with high temperatures generally a little bit warmer into those 70s thanks to the Ongoing southerly winds tapping into a little bit of a warmer air mass. 76 over to Tahlequah, 78 over towards Grove. Oktoberfest is going on. Tomorrow you're looking at a schedule from 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. So you've got a big window to get out there if you're planning on going. 66 to, and then dropping to 68 by 7 p.m. Pleasant weather, no precipitation anticipated. Temperatures a little bit warmer again for tomorrow. We're going to keep those southerly winds a little bit calmer by the evening hours for tomorrow. Looking at high temperatures for Sunday, a little bit warmer, so this warming trend continues to take over. Upper 70s by Sunday, still staying dry, but notice some cloud coverage out to the west, and that's going to play a big role as we look towards Monday. We do have a 30% chance that has remained in the forecast for some precipitation. Not everyone will get in on this. Some of us will, and we all need it. We'll talk about who could be lucky enough to see that precipitation coming up in the next full weather.